Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So uh, today I'm looking at a chest of drawers that I've had for a while and uh, over time what's happened with it is that the drawers in the centre um, they, they keep slipping when I pull it out and that is because over time um, because it's quite a high chest of drawers these side pieces here have started to like belly out at the sides slightly and um, I found that out by measuring across the top here. So where you've got a support that's connected to these sides, if you measure this, then that is the width of what the side pieces should be the whole way down. So this width will correspond with this width here. So I've took that measurement and I have cut myself a piece of uh, thin pine that I've got off a pallet um, just a piece of rough wood uh, it won't be seen when it's on so that's fine and I've got some brackets here so now I can show you a little bit better so I've cut a uh, piece of pine here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach it to the inside of the cupboard but it's going to sit out the way like this so it's hidden and I'm going to attach some brackets on the ends and then screw it so what I'm going to do is pull it all together nice and tight so that it is all the same width going all the way down and then the drawers will fit nicely so I'm just going to show you now so what I'm talking about with the drawer problem the first because it's because the sides are very close to this piece here they tend to be the same width and it, it, they hold together nicely so you can see there that works it works fine and as you come down the the fit gets looser so going into the second drawer now you see again it works but I can feel there's some there's some movement in it and then when you get to the third drawer what you've got is a drawer that doesn't work anymore so as you pull it out it's it's falling yeah, so there's a gap okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a piece of scrap wood and I've made a little mark to show where the, the drawer above ends so that I've got clearance so this area has got nothing that's moving across it just going to take a piece of scrap wood use that as a spacer to lift it equally off um, from this drawer and then I'm going to work out where I want it so I'm gonna, I want it as close to the front as I can get it I'm going to have it about here and I'm just checking the clearance and that is uh, just about fine. And I'm just going to move it into position now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mark, and a mark for the height, and I can now start to uh, do the same on the other side. Right, so now I need to attach the uh, small brackets onto this uh, strip of wood that I've got. And I'm just gonna make sure that it's perfectly in line with the end. That's fine. I'm just gonna drill a couple of little pilots. And I've left these brackets just slightly shy of the end so that when it all pulls together these brackets are actually going to pull rather than being flush with the wood. Okay so I can just show you there's one bracket 
and it's just shy of the wood. So now we've got our four brackets attached, top and bottom of this piece of thin ply, uh, thin pine. It doesn't matter what kind of wood, I suppose, as long as it's quite strong and straight. Right, so let's get it fitted. So I've clamped it up at one end to keep it in position. And now I'm going to pile it some holes in here and put some screws in. And just make sure that your screws are um, not going to go through to the other side. So that first one is in, and it feels pretty strong as well. So before I do the rest, I'm going to go to the other side and connect the other side. We can just position it where we made our marks. What I'm actually going to do is, to help me here, I'm just going to clamp the bracket in place, and that will help to squeeze it together while I drill the pilot hole and add the screw and that's bringing the sides into the position they're supposed to be in so that's all clamped up now in position just makes everything a lot easier uh, make sure when you drill the pilot hole just be very careful not to go through to the other side because we don't want any of this to be seen Fortunately, with these cheaper chest of drawers, they um, they have problems like this, especially if you put a lot of stuff in them. Saying that, this isn't too difficult to fix. And then just to tighten everything up, just just doing it by hand at the end, so I don't over tighten. So we've got our first two in. So now I'm going to check to see if that's worked. So the brace is now fully in. You can see I've used the two brackets. There's four screws on each side. And um, I've done that because this is a veneer. So this is not solid pine. It's um, particle board underneath. So that'll just give it extra strength and you can see that's really solid and the screws do not go through to the other side. Same on the other side. And that piece of wood there will stop anything coming outwards or inwards. Keep everything nice and straight. Right, of course you don't need to uh, do this but I'm just going to add a drop of linseed oil to the wood. Just to make it match a little bit better with the rest of the wood. Not necessary, but it just helps it to blend in. So there's our brace in, and now I'm going to check the drawer again. Okay, so this time round, the drawer's not falling out working great and then we can add our other drawers on top of that and that brace should just disappear so now you can see that it looks nice and straight and all the drawers are functioning as they should and the brace that I put in you can't even see so where is it it's in here somewhere there it is you can just see it underneath here yeah? and it doesn't hinder any of the movement of the drawers so you'd never know it was there <laughs> nice quick little fix if you've got a, a cheaper range of chest of drawers like this one this is um, I think that the fronts are pine but and the tops pine but the sides are veneer so 
the veneered sides don't tend to have as much structure. Yeah, these are veneered. And over time, because it's quite tall, they belly out at the sides. But now with that brace, look, you can see it's perfectly straight again. So if you found this video useful, please leave me a like and also a comment and consider subscribing for more videos. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.